Kate, of course, and we have Todd Director, the VP at Connecticut Lighting, joining us today. Todd, how are you doing, my man? I'm good. How are you guys? Great. Really good. Before we went live, we were all kind of uh, talking about the last time we hung out, which was March 1st at the HBRA Home Show in Hartford. How how things have changed in 31 days? It's, it's incredible. It really is. If you if I mean, we, you know, we, we were concerned about attendance at the home show due to the coronavirus. Had no idea we'd be dealing with it. Um, right. Who knew that you'd be talking to Byron while he's sitting in his closet? I mean. <laughs> this is my office, Todd. This is my office. I, I didn't, never imagined I'd be coming to work in a t-shirt every day. So, yeah. yeah. You look, I know. Last time I saw well, you, you were suited up. On there. You're representing. You got it on there. I know. We're trying. Paying for haircuts, <laughs> not getting them. You know how it is. You were, you were so suited up for sure last time I saw you, Todd. So what was your day-to-day -day like uh, back then, March 1st, January, February, March 1st, and how has it changed today? What are you guys doing to innovate and pivot during this time? Well, you know, obviously it's changed a lot. You know, um, you know, our business being Connecticut Lighting Centers, we're, um, you know, open to the public. So a, a good majority of what we do, about 65% of it is servicing people who walk in the showrooms on a, on a daily basis. So obviously all that's changed. Um, the door's locked. So if you'd ever told me that the door would be locked and a sign on the door to call for service, you know, I never thought there'd be a day. But um, so so basically what we're doing is um, we're, we're taking people by appointment only um, and primarily for projects. You know, if somebody just needs a couple lights, we're, we're trying to do do that over FaceTime or, or you know, means of technology. Um, what, what majority of your business is the contractor? Uh, or the developer, you know, the builder 35%, type of, 35, 30, 35%. Yeah. And so those, um, those individuals have been deemed essential. They have been. And, um, you know, and we're here to support them. You know, we're, we're running deliveries daily. We have a, we actually have uh, people don't even know this about us, but we do, we do stock a lot of inventory. So we have a distribution center here in Hartford. That's about 25,000 square feet of inventory as well as staged item, staged items and orders for builders. So, you know, we're, our, our delivery schedule is actually, it's busier than it normally is. And again, I think a, a lot of people are trying to get out in front of whatever may come to try to get all their deliveries all set. And uh, now you, guys have, you guys have three locations, right? Well, we have, we have two lo locations under Connecticut lighting and right. then our third location restoration lighting gallery. We, we actually had to close that because it's not oh, deemed really? essential. All we do there is we restore vintage fixtures. And um, we do vintage one of a kind custom lighting, but but it's really focused around customers, not much on the on the contractor side whatsoever. So you're Are able you, to get an appointment at either of the the Hartford or the Southington. Hartford or Southington, absolutely. We we have we have staff at both locations. The one thing we did do is um, to to limit exposure, to deliver to to limit everything. Um, there, there's not a lot of us here. There's um, you know we have about six people here in this Hartford store. We have a few people in our warehouse and we have a few people in our Southington store. And again, you know, it's just, uh, you know, we're trying to trying to be as safe as possible and also um, still allow the business to go. Right. Are you rethinking how you're going to operate in the future in terms of your showrooms? I, I think commercial yeah, real estate absolutely. is in a really vulnerable spot moving forward, obviously, because, you know, so many businesses may not even be here when we come back out of this that we're, you know, obtaining commercial space and, and then even the businesses that are going to, you know, thrive and continue, they may be innovating so much that they may not need space. Uh, what thoughts, if you guys have given any so far to having multiple showrooms, where are you on that uh, once we come out of this? Well, here's, here's what I would say, you know, we are in a different product than most, um, you know, our, our, I guess, luckily for us, because we're not a big online play. Um, the online play in lighting is tough because it's so hard to visualize lighting without seeing it. So well, Nicole, well, well, she would just go there and get lost for hours. Be <laughs> exactly. like, where's Nicole calling, texting? She'd be lost in in one of the showrooms. In for, Connecticut, well, lighting. Yeah, Connecticut lighting. Connecticut your, your, your Wi-Fi in there isn't overly stellar sometimes, so that it. Uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> so so for, for the most part, I mean, look, you know, we're we're looking at uh, you know how we can do things better. Uh, again, like you said, I think. Um, you know, I think a lot of things are going to change after this. I think for right now, you know, we're, we're analyzing our business in a whole and how we do everything. And again, we're also um, as owners and now operators of everything that's going on, 
you know, I, I guess the pop, I mean, if you can take anything positive away from this is we're, we're able to look at everything from start to finish our process, how it's handled, what the perception versus the reality is. And again, so, so, so when we do bring all of our people back, um, we're, we're going to change a lot of things. And, and again, it's going to be for the better. Um, again, like, like I said, in the short term here for us, most important thing for us is to make sure we keep this place going so we can pay everyone's health care, you know, especially during a health crisis. You know, the, the one thing we wanted to make sure we did was we, we have a very good health care program and all of our people are still on it. So that's important. It's obviously expensive, but How many that's employees? important. Well, just, just under 90. So we have, we have a lot of people. Wow. So, so yeah. So, but again, you know, for, for the majority of what we do, it's, you know, it's dealing with that consumer and, uh, you know, it's extremely tough when well, and you making sure that the consumer knows that you're still there to help them. I mean, that's, I feel like part of the obstacle too, in all of this, like who's open, who's not, who can help, how can they help? Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, for us, you know, one of the biggest, you know, perception reality things is, is that, you know, our message, and we do spend a lot of money advertising annually, but our message is typically to drive people to our showrooms. Right. So people don't like, people just don't, know that we sell online. They have no idea we're competitive online. And, it, and again, the reason is not because we aren't, it's because we choose not to push that messaging. So, so it's actually funny, like we, we've, we've altered, uh, like on the online side, some of our Google AdWords and some of our campaigns and our online sales, not that they're drastic, but they're three and four times what they normally are because <laughs> just, you're, you're just shifting, shifting eyeballs and how people search for you, you know, again, so so again, that's kind of interesting because we, we wouldn't typically make a change like that, you know, on that side. Nicole's picked out way more light, lighting features and fixtures rather in her life than I ever have. But Nicole, do you think that it's not feasible to for more people to start selecting them online virtually? Or maybe, you know, I think when we come out of this, 5G is going to be, you know, right around the corner too. Maybe that will uh, help being able to look at these uh, lighting fixtures online, I, but I think I think what's what's interesting here. Then I mean, obviously Todd can uh, like can sort of back me up here. You can buy lighting online, and people no, are. Oh, I know you can, but you you no, even no. choose to go to the location. Absolutely. So you know what I have chosen to do though is to sort of look at things that I like online, and then I bring them to Connecticut Lighting typically because I do like to see them in person. I'm not going to lie. Um, but again, mostly I'll look online, I'll see what I like, and I'll send it to Todd, or I'll go to the showroom and see if they have something in the showroom. Um, but again, I think that- is it, easiest to, is it easiest to get a feel for it if it's in a 3D scan, like a Matterport, as opposed to a, a picture or a video? I think that that would be interesting. I mean, I think that would be certainly something that, and I'm not gonna tell you what to do, Todd, but certainly something for you to do, because obviously if you have sure. a Matterport, you can see, every, I mean, my neck wouldn't hurt as bad. I mean, you're walking and you're having to- Yeah, I mean, here's what I would tell you. I mean, for so so the one thing that's interesting about lighting, more, more so than anything, you know, the trends, people replace lighting, other than Nicole. Nicole replaces lighting all the time, oh. especially in, in what she's involved in. But Like but, socks for her, you yeah. know? Just stick them, exactly. throw them out, get a, new, get a new light. Get a new, get a new pair. I can't find them. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, we, we need more Nicoles. But no, but uh, uh, from from a realistic standpoint, you know, the, the average person lots of Nicole, um, yeah, do, doesn't <laughs> change lighting often. Right. And we're also in a product category that's that's changing so rapidly. So, so what we typically find is that people waste, and I will tell you, probably more than half the orders that come through on our online e-store, if we did not intervene, if we didn't take a look at that order and just placed it with the vendor, the customer would not have gotten what they what they intended to buy. And what I mean is the light bulbs wouldn't be proper. Um, they would have anticipated it would have done something to actually provide functional light when really the piece just is a nice looking piece but if they don't have any other supplemental lighting in the room they'd kind of be out of luck right. so there's a lot more to it than just like swapping out something so, in, yeah, but, exactly. that tells, but that tells me todd there's huge opportunity to be the educator Absolutely. online and provide that education on all of there's a lot of fixtures i get it lots sure. which means, which means you're gonna have lots of content uh to share online that's a good thing we've got some questions we're with the VP at Connecticut Lighting, Todd Director. And we've got a question from Pat Kenny. Uh, Pat's asking, have have any employees come to you asking about company plans or are you getting out in front of that 
as much as possible to keep them informed. So um, as far as company, pl- as far as our company plans, so we are, we're, we're always communicating with, with all of our staff, our director who, um, you know, is, is on staff and, and absolutely we're, we're letting our people know everything that we're doing. And, uh, you know, at the end of this, our, our goal is to come out of this extremely strong so we can bring every single person back. That's not, you know, that's currently furloughed and, um, again, be able to get back to business. Have you had to lay people off so that they were able to at least collect unemployment at this point? Yeah. So what we did was, was, um, we, we basically furloughed everyone. So everyone that's not currently here is, is laid off in the sense that they can fully collect every opportunity that comes forward for them, as well as we are taking care of the healthcare that they currently have. So no, there's no change whatsoever to their healthcare. There's no change to their 401k. None of that. They're just not getting their paycheck from right. us. That is being, that's going to come in the form of unemployment. In a furlough situation, there's basically the job waiting for them when, when uh, everything clears. Yes, we are, we are hiring every single person back. Again, the, the, the only reason why people, there's two reasons why people aren't here. One, um, being, being a sales organization, you know, when, when, when you deal with retail sales, the salespeople that are here still working are the ones that have outside accounts and, and deal with, you know, builders, contractors, electricians, and everything else. The, the, the ones that we couldn't keep on are, are the ones that are, you know, that, that deal with what is generated from the showroom. Mm-hmm. And, so and again, still, we'll see Debbie, right? Debbie's there still? Deb in Southington? Yeah. <laughs> so in Southington, there's only four people in Southington. Oh, no. You guys just oh. opened that huge showroom, too. So, yeah. So, again, you know, the, the, here, here was the issue. You know, um, we, we can't have any more than 10 people in any one of the buildings at one time. Right. Um, and we're, we're at four in Southington. So, you know, if one family comes in again, if one family comes in to pick out lights, right. um, yeah, one, one couple, yeah. yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, again, part of this whole thing is we're just trying to be, you know, respectful to everyone. And again, you know, we've talked about it as well, you know, um, we're not even sure we, we think we're doing the right thing again. There, there's, there's, there's attitudes out there everywhere about you shouldn't be open. You shouldn't be open again. The way that we look at it is, you know, in, in doing what's right for our customers, you know, we, we feel like we ha- we have to be open in some capacity, well, especially well, when and, yep. and like Todd, like us in real estate, you have to follow the guidelines and, and be social distancing and, and not gathering more, you know, than 10 people or, you know, or five people in a certain space. Uh, and you've got to follow those rules. But to your point, there are people that need lights in their house to be able to use electricity. And and right. if they were just finishing up uh, their rehab that or you know their rebuild that took them one year, and now they're going to be moving in and they can't have lights, that that would be it's, a little bit ridiculous. Even with builders, I mean, with the with the walls being open, I mean, there's so much. I mean, people always think that like you come to Connecticut Lighting just to get like the exterior lighting, but there's so much that goes into behind the behind the sheetrock. That oh, it, I mean, you have to. I mean, there's so much that goes in before those walls get closed in. That I mean, you would halt almost a whole whole building sector if if you weren't able to get the things that you need before you know those walls are closing or before even like the the insulation so then the insulators can't work and then the sheet rockers can't work and then i mean look we have um we have a couple jobs going with with universities we have a couple jobs going with um you know some developers in hartford i mean this is all you know more in the functional lighting category as i as i call it you know your recess cans all the stuff that you typically don't see Right. Again, if you come into Connecticut Lighting, you're really not going to notice that we have all this stuff. Right. But it's it's in the back of the warehouse, and and we deliver and ship the, those goods on a, on a daily basis. But again, like you said, you know, if if that if we were to stop supplying that, it, it would really put a damper on a lot of those guys. For sure. So. Todd, director, VP at Connecticut Lighting. If you've got a question for Todd, certainly, uh, and you're watching this live, put it into the uh, comments, and we'll we'll make sure we get that question over to Todd. Todd, what are you seeing right now in the community, anywhere in Connecticut, uh, something positive, something that you would want to share with everybody that you're seeing that is just been outstanding by. What, what I love the gift card thing. You guys started the gift card thing. Uh, <laughs> not, not us. You don't, not us, Todd. Well, no, I'm, hey, no, I'm serious. Um, no, I, I think 
you know, um, it, it's really it's really hard to to pull out positives. I, I think I think stuff like that's great. Um, you know, it, it's hard to really pay attention to much. You know, outside of everything else that's going on, I think. Um, I, I just think as a whole, if everyone could just do do whatever they can to support, you know, local people in any which way they can, you know, I think that's just the best thing. And and again, Nicole, like we were talking about prior to, prior to going live, you know, the, the people who are in the industries, the all the people, the barbers, the hairdressers, you know, they don't have an they don't have an opportunity to do anything. And and again, um, you know, any way people can support them. You know, I know um, a couple of the the gyms that we do business with and that we're friends with. You know, they they were basically mandated to stop billing. Again, I told my gym, I, I want a gym to come back to bill me bill me monthly. Like I'm, it is what it is. I mean, it's already it's not gonna it's not gonna change my my monthly uh, expenses. Just you know, bill me. Um, mm-hmm. And, and again, I, I'm, I'm hearing a whole bunch of different stuff as far as what the rules of engagement are. I know some gyms are billing, some gyms aren't billing. So again, just a lot of that is just incredible. And I, I think the one thing is too, as much as, you know, the stimulus, the CARES Act, all these different things, for a lot of these local businesses, it's just too long to not get the funding that they need. So. Todd, I mean, January and February for us were like pretty explosive for a lot of people that are in the real estate industry. It was it was a great two months. It was looking like it was going to be probably the best spring we, we I've saw ever experienced. Saw the same thing. Do you do you believe that you'll see this demand uh, come back when when everything goes back to some type of normalcy? Um, I, I, I'm optimistic. I mean, I, I really don't know. Um, the, the one thing, you know, from, from all the financial people I talk to, um, the, the one thing you just keep on hearing is that the, the reasons why we went into this recession are, are for reasons that we've never experienced why we've gone into a recession before. So the typical time that it takes to get out of one on typical terms, this could be longer, it could be shorter. Um, mm-hmm. Again, I, I have to assume I, I want to assume at least that, that it's well, going to be. I have to assume that all those people are stuck inside and they're staring at that chandelier that they've wanted <laughs> to change for five years. If, if they haven't taken it down themselves, like you will be getting calls to get that chandelier swapped out. Because I got, I got some things in here that, you know, if our, if I, if the painting gets finished and, and the, in the rhombuses get completed on their math, like my, my, my third grader is going to be taking down that light. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to notice every little thing that's wrong with their house because they're going to have a lot of time staring at a lot of walls. So. Absolutely, I, I I just think it's going to be, um, you know, how 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 many wh- what happens with unemployment? I, I think it's going to be huge. You know, in in third and fourth quarter, um, a- yeah. after all this settles down, and and then again, I think a, a big indicator is going to be what happens with the stock market. You know, I think especially um, in 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 our professions, you know. That the better that rebounds and and the more comfortable people feel about their their assets, um, the more they'll be willing to spend more money. So. Well, I do have to say that I love that you're you know as much as you can't keep all your guys on, you are you know committed to rehiring um, when it's all over. And obviously, obviously, health insurance is a huge. Yeah, I mean, and then look, I and look, you know, obviously their paychecks, but it, it's true. I mean, if you're going to have to unfortunately go to the hospital or or God forbid you just like break a leg in the middle of all of this. Um, I mean, I, I think it's great that, you know, they don't, it's one less thing to worry about. Yeah. And, and again, Nicole, for, for us, you know, we, we had to look at from the standpoint of, uh, we don't know what the future holds. So by making the moves that we made when we did, we got out in front of this thing. We, we, you know, we, we've been paying attention to this for the past two and a half, three weeks. And, um, you know, what, what that will allow us to do is, be able to get when this thing ends, whenever it ends to be able to hire everyone back. No questions asked. You know, we're not, we're not going to have to change it a thing about our business because we, we, we've, we've are, we're set up for that. You know, we're, if, if we need to shut down tomorrow and shut down for, you know, four or eight weeks, we're still going to be having the same conversation and we're still going to be in the same spot. And again, that was how we looked at this, you know, and, and again, we've, we've been around way too long to, you know, piss it down the tubes for, you know, How long has Connecticut Lighting been in business? 1972. So my grandfather 1972. started. 1972. Yep. 
Unbelievable. 90 employees almost working. 50, almost 50 years. Two more years, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So 48 years. Oh. Holla. Todd, where, where can people find you guys online if they want to go look at some lights? A lot of people uh, online right now. so Yeah, absolutely. So uh, ctlighting.com is, uh, is our website. Um, obviously we're on Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, all the social medias, but, um, you know, on our website, they can live chat us and, uh, you know, we're, we're here answering the phones and everything eight to four Monday to Friday. And, uh, we'll see where it goes. Hey, you should get a TikTok account. You guys could like start doing some like some moves <laughs> over there and that like, or you yeah. could do, like, you do like lights on and off to songs. Oh yeah. That'd and be you let me good. run your TikTok account. I feel like it'll just like, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> all right todd thanks for joining us go check hey, them out ctlighting.com stay oh, safe stay time. healthy yeah thank you guys too you guys too good seeing you did you freeze byron no i'm not frozen